figure it would serve a purpose. A place to work towards perception. Yay! <laughs> Stupid bitch. <laughs> speak now? You may. Alistair, pleasure to be meeting you, sweetheart. Quite a pleasure. Excuse my sudden visit, but I saw your fiasco on the picture show, and I just couldn't resist. What a performance! That's why I haven't been that entertained since the stock market crash of 1929. <laughs> so many orphans. Stop right there. Cabron, hijo de perra. I know your game. And I'm not gonna let you hurt anyone here, you pompous, cheesy talk show shitlord. Dear, if I wanted to hurt anyone here, I would have done so already. Now, I'm here because I want to help. To say what now? Help! <laughs> Hello? Is this thing on? Testing? Testing! Well, I heard you loud and clear. Um, you want to help with... This ridiculous thing you're trying to do. This hotel! I want to help you run it. But... Why? <laughs> Why does anyone do anything? Sheer, absolute boredom! I've lacked inspiration for decades. My work became mundane, lacking focus. Aimless! I've come to crave a new form of entertainment! <laughs> Does getting into a fist fight with a reporter count as entertainment? <laughs> it's the purest kind, my dear. Reality! True passion! After all, the world is a stage, and the stage is a world of entertainment. So, does this mean that you think it's possible to rehabilitate a demon? <laughs> of course not! That's wacky nonsense! Redemption! Oh, the non-existent humanity! No, 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 no! I don't think there's anything left that could save such loathsome sinners! The chance given was the life they lived before! The punishment is this! There is no undoing what is done! So then, why do you want to help me if you don't believe in my cause? Considered an investment in ongoing entertainment for myself. I want to watch the scum of the world struggle to climb up the hill of betterment, only to repeatedly trip and tumble down to the fiery pit of failure. Right. Yes, indeedy. I see big things coming your way, and who better to help you than I? Uh, so, uh, what's the deal with Smiles over there? Wait, you've never heard of him before? You've been here longer than me. The Radio Demon, one of the most powerful beings Hell has ever seen. Eh, not big on politics. Ugh. Decades ago, Alistair manifested in Hell, seemingly overnight. He began to topple overlords who had been dominant for centuries. That kind of raw power had never been harnessed by a mortal soul before. Then, he broadcast his carnage all throughout Hell, just so everyone could witness his ability. Sinners started calling him the Radio Demon. As lazy as that is. Many have speculated what unimaginable force enabled him to rival our world's most ancient and destructive evils. But one thing's for sure. He's an unpredictable source of danger, a wicked spirit of mystery, and a violent monster of chaos, the likes of which we can't risk getting involved with unless we want to end up erased. You done? <laughs> he looks like a strawberry pimp. Hurry, I picked up one thing from my dad. You don't take shit from other demons. Okay, so... Al, you're sketchy as fuck, and you clearly see what I'm trying to do here as a joke. But I don't. I think everyone deserves a chance to prove they can be better, so I'm taking your offer to help. On the condition that there be no trickster voodoo strings attached. So it's a deal then? Nope. No shaking. No deals. I... Hmm. 
As princess of hell and heir to the throne, I, uh, hereby order that you help with this hotel for as long as you desire. Sound fair? Hmm. Fair enough. Cool beans. <laughs> Smile, my dear! You know you're never fully dressed without one. <laughs> so where is your hotel staff? Uh, well... Oh, you're going to need more than that. And what can you do, my effeminate fellow? I can suck your dick. Ha! No. Your loss. Well, this just won't do. I suppose I can cash in a few favors to liven things up. <laughs> this little darling is nifty. Hi, I'm nifty. It's nice to meet you. It's been a while since they've made new friends. <laughs> Why are you all women? I mean, I'm here! I'm sorry if that's rude. Oh, man, this place is filthy. It really needs a lady's touch, which is weird because you're all ladies, no offense. Oh, my gosh, this is awful. Nope, 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 <laughs> nope, nope, uh, nope. <laughs> ha! Read them and weep, boys. Oh! Tell? What the fuck is this? You. Ah, Husker, my good friend. Glad you could make it. Don't you Husker me, you son of a bitch. I was about to win the whole damn pot. Good to see you too. What the hell do you want with me this time? My friend, I am doing some charity work, so I took it upon myself to volunteer your services. I hope that's okay. Are you shitting me? Hmm. No, I don't think so. You thought it would be some kind of big fucking riot just to pull me out of nowhere? You think I'm some kind of fucking clown? Maybe. I ain't doing no fucking charity job. Well, I figured you would be the perfect face to man the front desk of this fine establishment. With your charming smile and welcoming energy, this job was made for you. Don't worry, my friend. I can make this more welcoming. If you wish. What, you think you can buy me with a wink and some cheap booze? Well, you can! Hey! So, what do you think? This is amazing! It's... okay. <laughs> this is going to be very entertaining! <laughs> you have a dream you wish to tell And it's just laughable, but hey kid, what the hell? Cause you're one of a kind, the charming demon bell. Now let's give these burning fools a place to dwell. Take it, boys! <laughs> Inside of every demon is a lost cause. <laughs> but we'll dress them up for now with just a smile. And we'll coronate this cesspool with some old redemption flair and show these simpletons some proper class and style. Oh, here below the ground. Your plan is sound. They'll spend a little time down at this has been home. Well, well, well. Look who it is harboring the striped freak. We meet yet again, Alistair. Do I know you? Oh, yes, you do. And this time I have the element of surprise. <laughs> some jambalaya. My mother once showed me a wonderful recipe for jambalaya. In fact, it nearly killed her. <laughs> you could say the kick was right out of hell. Oh, I'm on a roll. Yes, sir, this is the start of some real changes down here. The game is set. Now. Stay 
stay tuned. 